If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of more movie related videos. Thank you. What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again and today's video is going to be a shopping thrifting for movies video. I know I haven't done one in a little while now. I've just been doing a lot of pickup videos but this time around this is going to be a shopping thrifting for movies video. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today. Probably just go into some of the usual spots just to kind of see what they have. Maybe go to some thrift stores a little farther away. Some like some that are kind of out of the way for me, but for right now, I don't know what we're going to be doing yet. So let's see where the day takes us and uh, we'll see what if we go to thrift stores, we'll see what they have today. Okay, we're at uh, Savers, so let's go in inside and see what they have and look at the lineup out here. Okay, like it is really busy in here, so I think I'm just gonna film this really quick and then I think we'll be out of here. But uh, they got a whole bunch of Blu-rays mixed in with everything, like up here they got Bullet to the Head and Pacific Rim, but I don't know, two titles I have no interest in, plus Pacific Rim I already have anyways, but if we just take a look here, again there's nothing really much to talk about because I gotta go kind of quick here. But I found this little thing, Earth the Biography, that kind of sounds not too bad. Traveling from Ethiopia is unique lava lake to an ice cave under a glacier in Greenland. So it looks like it's just kind of like how the earth began, I think. Uh, I might check that on eBay after and see what that's worth, but if you keep going here, we got some sealed titles. We got Kick-Ass 2, um, Best of Friends, Seasons 1 and 2. Uh, if we keep going here, we got some uh, TV shows here, Blue Bloods, the first season, and Homeland, I think, yeah, first season too. And if we keep going down here, uh, this this looks kind of weird, CJ7, I don't know what that's all about, looks like some kind of uh, movie from China, Chinese movie, but if we keep going, once again, unfortunately, there does not seem to be really too much to talk about, just a lot of generic -y kind of things. Uh, State in Maine. I don't think I've ever seen this one out hunting before. I don't think it's worth anything though, but I might check. This would be a cool pickup here. $8 Star Wars the prequel trilogy. But unfortunately, I did check inside and the Phantom Menace Blu-ray is missing. Oh, actually, no, it's the... It looks like the Revenge of the Sith Blu-ray is missing. Looks like somebody kept that one when they donated it because that's the only good prequel anyways but down here uh, there's a copy you never see never again I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like it has the book in it I always try to find the ones with the book inside like the insert because those are usually ones because it's complete if you find it that anywhere but that one does not seem to have the booklet in it and down here doesn't seem to be too much. Yeah, this is where all the Blu-rays are. So you got stuff like Godzilla, Jurassic World, Hangover, stuff like that. But stuff I already have anyways. Fast and the Furious, uh, Toy Story. And then if we go up here, we got a couple more Blu-rays. X-Men First Class and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Two movies I have already. And so if we keep going here, it's this movie here, Infamous. Toby Jones, Sandra Bullock, and Daniel Craig. Uh, got a double pack here, Romancing the Stone and Duel of the Nile. We got Brave here, unfortunately. No disc in there. And if we keep going here, this is actually the last shelf. That is about it. So we got stuff like Constantine, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, and uh, we also got Tick Season 2. It's sealed, actually. And that seems to be about it for here. And then they got a whole bunch of games down here as well. A lot of Xbox and uh, yeah. That's about it from here, so let's get on out of here and go to our next location. And the next place we are going to is actually a brand new place. It's called Just For Fun uh, Buy, Sell, Trade, DVDs, Video Games and Systems. And it's actually right next to this uh, comic shop. So let's go on in there, let's see what they have. Hopefully they're not too expensive and uh, maybe I'll try and get some footage in there.
well into Goodwill we go and let's see what they have for uh, movies today or pretty much anything else in general okay guys so uh, if you, in case you don't know Goodwill actually moved their shelves to like over in the middle of the books <clears throat> over here uh, they have that rack still over there with like all the TV shows and the games on it and everything But we're gonna take a look at this place first because it is a little busy over there but And just to start out so not seeing too much here um, Just kind of the usual thrift store stuff like Dawson's Creek. They have like a million seasons of pretty much constantly and uh, I'll just go a little bit slower for you guys here I've been seeing a lot of like bootlegs of stuff, especially on the rack over there. It's The Last of Robin Hood. I don't know what that is. It looks like something from a &E, but yeah, there's that. Um, over here, yeah, see, like here's here's one bootleg, like Sex in the City Five. Huh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's that. These have been here for a little while now. Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven and Part Five. They do have more of them though. Um, down here, you got some games mixed in here. Like you got some PS2 ones, World Series of Poker, uh, Casper. But who really cares about those anyways? We got a, a Fortune Star release of City Hunter with Jackie Chan. Uh, I had one of these. I think I might have gotten rid of it, but we got that here. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my camera here. It's always going out of focus. Every every single phone I've had keeps going out of focus every time. Um, another game that's in here, Indigo Prophecy for Xbox, but uh, 1050. Oof. But if we keep going over here, and then down here, once again, another bootleg of The Incredibles. So boy, you can really tell that this is real. But there's that. Uh, Another bootleg X Men The Last Stand, which actually is using like the game uh, cover art. They do have like this Indiana Jones full screen, unfortunately, this uh, box set here, which has pretty much everything in here, including the bonus material disc, but I do have it already in widescreen, anyways. So I technically don't need that, but they got it here though. And then I'll just go down here. I do have a few things in my hand right now so it is a little hard to film but that's pretty much about it for this side so we'll go switch sides here okay so we are on the other side now it looks to be a little bit more full than the other side was so let's take a look so once again more bootlegs you got wedding crashers now which uh, which is not at all convincing <laughs> but uh, what's this thing here? Snoopy. Looks like it's... I don't even know where this is from. Probably the Netherlands or so, or Sweden? Probably not Sweden. Maybe like the Netherlands or something. Once again, more games mixed in. Unfortunately, very overpriced games. Xbox Platinum Hits, Rainbow Six 3. Uh, you know, GTA Vice City, which is a super old game from like the early 2000s, and they want $15 for it. Uh, in the case of anything else that I can show here, they got a couple Disney Blu-rays. They have uh, The Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. I've seen The Emperor's New Groove. I didn't really care for it very much. I know a lot of people love it, but I don't know. It just really kind of wasn't for me. Unfortunately, like the DVD is scratched. And then they have Frozen there. And other than that, what's this here? Flashpoint Season 1, who cares? Um, once again, I don't see very much here. It looks like, yeah, a lot of like these foreign releases too. Gemelos, which is twins, of course. Um, I don't know if it translates directly to twins, but there's that. Born Free, they have a couple of these nature documentaries here. Never heard of them, though. And if we keep going, once again, I don't really see too much to show off or anything noteworthy to show to you guys. A lot of double feature sets, a lot of just common stuff, common titles, generic ones. But uh, 
There's a look at down here. There's a lot of copies of the Born Supremacy there. And then if we just go over here, this is the last part over here. Just some wrestling titles here. They got Night of Champions 2012, uh, Over the Limit 2012. If you guys, if you do go out hunting or thrifting or whatever, and if you see wrestling titles that have the WWF logo on them, I definitely recommend picking those up because they are worth quite a bit of money. But that's just a little tip there. Survivor Men, uh, Brian Regan, the epitome of hyperbole. This is some, some stand up thing. Uh, American Gangster, the three disc edition, which I do have in my collection already, and it's actually a pretty cool little set. Orbo Legs here with open water, which is definitely not convincing whatsoever. And even if I open it up, yeah, totally not convincing. But if we keep going down here, we do have a library release, The Last Tycoon, starring De Niro. Um, another copy of the Born Supremacy. This is with the 100th anniversary cover. More bootlegs here. It's a pretty bad trip when you see a lot of bootlegs that are not. Uh, I guess that's not a bootleg. This is a bootleg though. Uh, what's this here? The Possession, Sam Raimi. Uh, and that seems to be about it for over here. So let's go over to the rack and see what they have. Okay, so let's take a look at what they have on the rack over here. There we go. Things back in focus. Um, again, lots of bootlegs. There's Spider-Man, Big Bounce, whole 10 yards, even like an Indiana Jones one. Um, but again, nothing really too much to talk about here. I did grab some quite cool stuff, so uh, stay tuned for the pickups at the end of this video and I'll show you what I did end up grabbing. There's this Led Zeppelin thing here, the song remains the same. I'm not really too sure what it is, if it's like a concert thing, or if it's like a documentary about them, I, I don't know. But they do have a copy of Bambi here, the two disc special edition. Again, tons of bootlegs, Fantastic Four, Animatrix, Spiker Boys, Alexander, Bennett Lake Beckham, uh, National Treasure, X-Men 2, Taxi, there's a whole bunch of them. And if we go up here, um, once again, don't see anything. Here's like a foreign copy of Independence Day, though. Dia de la Independencia. Um, down here, not really too much. Because I did grab some quite cool stuff over here, so unfortunately I can't show it to you guys right now, but I will show it to you once I do the pickups. And this is what's over here. Again, nothing too special, nothing too crazy over here. Uh, what's this? Sims Life Stories, never mind. Um, there's that. And then they got some games over here, a lot of like original Xbox, a lot of PlayStation 2 ones, but overpriced, overpriced. Ten fifty for you know like golf on original Xbox. And they do have stuff like uh, Legend of the Guardians game, uh, oh Look at that. Isn't that ironic? We have Legend of the Guardians, and then we have Rise of the Guardians. Two completely different movies, but just naming naming conventions are the same. But, yeah, just nothing too much to show over here. There's Shanghai Knights bootleg, Dodgeball, uh, there's the first X-Men, Snow Dogs, uh, Cinderella, Alien Adventure. That's apparently an IMAX one. That's weird. But I don't know if I'm really interested in that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it for over here at Goodwill. Steven Botko and Chris Jerome present over there. Looks like some kind of show on FX. But yeah, that seems to be about it for Goodwill. So let's go to the uh, pawn shop now and then we will go home to show the pickups. Okay, we are here at the pawn shop. So let's just go inside quickly and uh, we'll see what they have. Maybe we can find some more steelbooks, who knows. Yeah guys, I didn't film inside the pawn shop. Nothing too much to look at. Like nothing that they didn't already have like when I got those steelbooks a few weeks ago. So yeah, people looking as well. So let's just go on home and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Wow. 
All right, guys, just got back home from doing all my shopping at those four places, and I've just got a huge haul for you guys today. I've got a whole bunch of Blu-rays to show you guys. I've got a whole bunch of, D well, I guess not that many DVDs, but mostly a lot of Blu-rays in this one, plus a game, and, you know, a few DVDs to add to that as well. But uh, I'll show you guys what I grabbed at Savers first, and there is a whole bunch of stuff that I gotta show you guys. But it's not necessarily for me though, because they're mostly more for like my family and I. They're not necessarily going into my collection, but you know, like it's just a lot of a lot of Blu-rays here that I gotta show you guys. Probably like a whole collection. I wouldn't say like a whole like collection collection like that, but like. A specific, t a specific kind of Blu-ray, I guess, per se. So, without further ado, I'll get through that stuff first, and then I'll show you guys my sizable pile from the other place. So, the first two stacks of Blu-rays here, if I can lift them up, are all of these uh, DC animated ones. Now, I've said in the past, probably, like, even recently as well, that... You know, like, these things, like, these movies aren't really my thing, but, like I said, they're mostly for my family. They were four bucks each, so I decided to grab pretty much all of them. And, uh, if, you know, some of these aren't really that great, maybe I can, you know, sell them or donate them or whatever. But, anyway, though, I'm almost, like, at two minutes for this thing already, so let's get started with which ones I grabbed here. So, we've got Son of Batman here. Um, when's this one from 2014? So yeah, we have uh, Son of Batman. I'm not going to open any of these because they do have the codes inside them. Batman and Harley Quinn, which is, I believe, newer, 2017. We have one from last year. We've got Reign of the Superman. Then we got kind of a goofier one here. We've got Batman vs. Two-Face, which is like the Batman 66 one. And then we have Batman vs. Robin, Superman Unbound, uh, Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, which is, I believe, the first one in like this whole kind of DC animated canon. We got a Marvel one interrupting here, but I just decided to grab it anyways. It's like an anime style one. It is Avengers Confidential, Black Widow, and Punisher. And as you can see on the back, it is kind of like anime style. We'll put that in a separate pile, or I guess kind of its own pile. Then we have Batman Hush, which is a brand new one. Justice League Dark. Then we have, this is, the case is filthy, but it can always just be clean though. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. And finally for this one, or the stack here, we have Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. And now we will go on to these ones here. I actually got a couple steelbooks for them, so I'll save those till last. So the next one we got here is Constantine, City of Demons, the movie. Justice League, Throne of Atlantis. Batman, The Killing Joke, which is apparently kind of a controversial one. I know a lot of people don't really care for it, but there's that one. Justice League, War. Batman, Bad Blood. Batman Assault on Arkham, Teen Titans The Judas Contract, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, Justice League Gods and Monsters, and finally for the steelbooks we have The Death of Superman. How cool is that? Look at that steelbook. There's the front cover for that one. You got Superman's cape hanging on a stick there, and or what is that, like a piece of rebar I guess, and then him fighting Doomsday right there. So really cool little steelbook there. And then finally for this whole stack here, these DC animated ones and one Marvel one, Justice League versus the Fatal Five. And then that one, that's how this one looks. So yeah, I believe somebody got rid of their entire uh, collection of all these DC animated ones. That is how big this stack is, man. Holy, I lucked out on this one. But yeah, there's all of those... DC animated ones. So we got a couple steelbooks here. These I believe are worth a little bit of money. I might have to check after how much exactly those ones are worth. But yeah, just lucked out severely on these. And it's surprising at, you know, the star power they get in some of these. Like you get like Christina Ricci, uh, John Bernthal. What else you got? Uh, Benjamin Bratt, Michael C. Hall. 
And then on this one, not really too much. Uh, Batman Bad Blood. I remember actually talking about this one in like a super early video of mine. Probably like one of the first videos I've ever did. I think I said like, oh, it looks cool. I wanted to grab it or something like that. I might put a clip right now. This looks pretty new too, this Batman Bad Blood. Might buy that one sometime or I watch it. But yeah, Batman Bad Blood here, I finally have a copy of it so I can watch it. <laughs> and then, yeah, you just get a lot of, uh, you know, some uh, star power in here. Of course, you get like Mark Hamill and The Killing Joke, uh, Throne of Atlantis. You get Rosario Dawson and Nathan Fillion, who is, of course, a local celebrity of mine. And then this Constantine one, you do get the guy that plays him on the live action show that didn't really last for too long. Uh, this one, you get Christian Slater and Vanessa Williams. Batman Gotham by Gaslight, you got Jennifer Carpenter, uh, Justice League Dark, nobody on there, Batman Hush once again, uh, Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, you got Justin Chambers, C. Thomas Howell, and uh, Michael B. Jordan, so that's kind of cool. Superman Unbound, uh, once again, don't really see too many big names on there. Not on that one. Batman vs. Two-Face, you get like Adam West, Burt Ward, William Shatner, Julie Newmar. Um, so you get some of the people that played them on the original show. Uh, Reign of the Superman, you get Jerry O'Connell and Rain Wilson from The Office, who plays Dwight. And then you get Batman and Harley Quinn here. Nobody in that one. And then Son of Batman here. Once again, nobody too special. But yeah, a lot of star power in these ones. And really happy to have grabbed all of these here. Look at that stack right there. That is incredible. So I'm just going to put these down here. So I've got space to go through this stuff right here. So without further ado, I'll get started with the only two things that I picked up for like my actual personal collection here. For that, one is a game. I'll go through it really quick here. Lego Jurassic World. I picked this one up for four bucks on Xbox One here. Brand new, factory sealed. So how cool is that? Lego games, they're my guilty pleasure. I really like playing these. They're just kind of games to kind of relax to. They're easy enough and just, you know, like they are kind of the same. They adhere to formula a lot, but they are just really kind of feel good, kind of funny, humorous, relaxing games. So I decided to pick that one up, and especially an Xbox One game, brand new factory sealed for four bucks. And then the last thing I picked up at Sabres here is uh, this two disc set here. It's from E1, and that is Jane Silent Bob Get Irish. So it looks like it's some kind of these live shows that, or um, another one of these live shows that uh, Kevin Smith does when he goes on tour and that. But this one, he brought along Jason Mewes with him, so it's not like the evening with Kevin Smith ones where he's just doing Q&A and that. But it looks like you get a UK tour, so you get the Dublin show 1 and 2, and then you also get a bonus show, which is Las Vegas. So, yeah, pretty cool here. Wanted to grab this one, and these are on two discs here, so you do get the Irish flag on both discs. So that's what that one looks like here. So that is Jane, Silent Bob, Get Irish. Another one to add to my little Kevin Smith collection, I guess, because I have all three of the evening with Kevin Smith's. I have the Stanley Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels, and I have the Too Fat for 41, so now I have the Jane Silent Bob Get Irish. So those are the only two things that I picked up at Savers for my own personal collection. And now we will get on to the stuff that I picked up at uh, that Just for Fun Place. And I didn't really get too much footage in there. Sorry, it is a little bit kind of cramped of a store. A lot of loud music playing in there, so I kind of didn't really do any narration so I just kind of put some of my own music on there or some of like the YouTube kind of copyright friendly ones but yeah this is all the stuff I picked up at that place so I got one two three four five six I got six or no seven blu-rays and then three dvds there so this one the first one I'm going to show you guys is the most expensive thing that I picked up there it was 10 bucks but it was a 3d title that I just had to pick up and that is IMAX Hubble in 3d here I popped this one in my PSVR, or my, yeah, my PSVR headset, and this is a really cool little 3D thing here. It's only 44 minutes, so I probably will watch the whole thing eventually, but from seeing from, uh, how am I worrying that, uh, from seeing, like, just little clips of it, it was actually kind of cool. I, you know, um, I enjoyed the 3D effects in here, but yeah, IMAX Hubble in 3D. 
It's narrated by Leonardo DiCaprio, and yeah, it's an IMAX one, so you'll probably have some upstanding 3D and, you know, picture and sound quality in here. But yeah, IMAX Hubble in 3D. Unfortunately, there is only the Blu-ray disc in here, nothing else. Apparently, there is a combo pack that has the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital in here. This one is just the 3D and the Blu-ray disc. So that is IMAX Hubble in 3D. And I actually got a couple more 3Ds that are coming up here soon. Next one I got to show you guys is the Brothers Grinsby here. There's no like unrated version on here or anything. It just like this little thing just says warning, extremely graphic extras, a full load of hilarious content. This one is on Netflix. I watched it not too long ago and it's actually not too bad. It is a pretty funny little movie here. If you do like this kind of like kind of crude offensive humor that Sasha Baron Cohen is known for, then you'll guarantee probably enjoy this one and have a few laughs in here he stars alongside mark strong and who else is in here uh isla fisher rebel wilson penelope cruz so you do get some you know star power in here as well but yeah it's a it's a pretty funny movie i enjoyed watching this one it is pretty short it's only 83 minutes but you gotta love sasha baron cohen stuff not so much like I guess you could probably really like the like the mockumentaries that he's made like borat borat's probably my favorite comedy movie I laughed hysterically throughout that whole movie that that's hilarious but this one here had some pretty good laughs and uh, it's definitely an enjoyable movie if you're into Sasha Baron Cohen's humor it's his humor is definitely not for everybody but you know for the people that like it it is a definitely it's definitely a pretty good movie I, I enjoyed it a lot and then the next one here I do have on DVD it's actually down here somewhere but I decided to grab the second one of this duology, I guess, on Blu-ray. I should probably upgrade the first one to Blu-ray as well. And that is Kick-Ass 2 here. Like I said, I do have the first Kick-Ass movie on DVD, but I decided to grab the second one here on Blu-ray. And I have seen the first one. I really enjoyed the first one. This one I have not seen yet, so I will definitely check it out. Uh, Jim Carrey is in this one. I think he kind of sort of replaces Nicolas Cage. From the first one, but you do you did have like Mark Strong, you got like Nicolas Cage in that. This one, you got Jim Carrey in here. So yeah, and I think he actually regretted starring in this movie. I can't really remember for what reason, but I think it might have been like the Sandy Hook shootings. But he regretted being in this movie. But that's just a little kind of uh, factoid about this one. But yeah, Kick Ass Two here. Wanted to uh, check this one out, so I grabbed it on Blu-ray and actually. One other thing before I continue on here, all the Blu-rays were $5 unless they're otherwise marked or all and all of the DVDs were 3 Next one I grabbed here was another one I've had my eye on for a little while and I finally decided to pick it up and that is Darkest Hour here starring Gary Oldman in his Oscar winning role as Winston Churchill. He finally got an Oscar for this movie but I think he should have probably gotten one like a little bit sooner because Gary Oldman he kills it in every single movie he's in. He's just absolutely awesome but uh, yeah Darkest Hour from Joe Wright here and this is a Focus Features movie. I enjoyed this one for what it was. It's a good little biopic on Winston Churchill here. And it's for some reason got an Atmos track on here, which is kind of odd. It's not really a movie that I would, you know, like have Atmos, like an Atmos track on. But I don't know. It could be kind of cool. Who knows? But yeah, Darkest Hour here. I enjoyed this one. Some really great performances in here. And if you do like biopics or based on a true story movies, then I think you'd probably enjoy that one. And then the next one I got here, so we're going back to the, the, actually the rest of the Blu-rays are 3D titles. So the next one I got here was Oz the Great and Powerful in 3D. Unfortunately, he did have two copies of this one. The one that was more expensive had the code in it. This one, which was the less expensive or the cheaper the cheaper one, only has the 3D disc in here. It's It doesn't have like the regular Blu-ray. It's just the 3D disc, unfortunately. But yeah, I've heard kind of mediocre things about this one. It is from Sam Raimi, which is a director I really enjoy. But uh, yeah, Oz the Great and Powerful. I haven't seen this one yet, and neither. I'm ashamed to say it. I still haven't seen The Wizard of Oz yet. I probably will check it out here soon. I should. But yeah, Oz the Great and Powerful here. I have not seen this one yet. But you do get a pretty good cast in here. You get James Franco, Mila Kunis, Rachel Weisz, Michelle Williams, Zach Braff. Um, Tony Cox in here. So yeah, Oz the Great and Powerful. Might be worth a watch. I don't know. But like I said, I've heard pretty mixed things about it. 
And then the next one I got here was Conan the Barbarian. I do have the first two Conan movies on DVD, like Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer, the Arnold Schwarzenegger ones. This is the remake with Jason Momoa. But yeah, this is a pretty common Blu-ray here. This is the 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy version. No digital copy in here, unfortunately, just the two discs. So it looks like the 3D and the Blu-ray are both on the same disc, and then the DVD has its own disc. Unfortunately, though, the... DVD is, yeah, you can see there, it's not in the not in very good shape. But the Blu-ray was mint, though, so there is that. <clears throat> but, yeah, Conan the Barbarian here. Might have to watch that one soon, maybe on 3D. And then the last Blu-ray I have to show you guys is the last 3D Blu-ray here, and that is Pompeii in 3D. Really cool little slipcover here. Unfortunately, the movie was a little mediocre, Actually, it's it really was nothing special. All I got to say about this one, I watched this one a little while ago. I rented it from the library, probably I'd say last year. And uh, yeah, it's forgettable. The only thing I have to say about it was it was a movie. That was pretty much about it. It's, it's a movie. It entertained me somewhat, I guess. The audio track was really good. Like it was just shaking the house, but... I don't know. Like, it was it was pretty mediocre. It was a movie. That's all I gotta say. It's forgettable. You won't really remember it in probably a couple hours, but it's just some kind of inoffensive fun that you can check out. Just a disaster movie. But this is the 3D and Blu-ray combo pack. No digital code included in here. Both versions of the movie are on the same disc. So there is that. And you don't get too many bonus features on here either. Just a couple of deleted scenes probably and some featurettes. And that is about it. So that is Pompeii 3D here. This one might have some pretty cool 3D, but I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet. I haven't popped it in the VR headset, but that is Pompeii in 3D. Really cool silk cover, but I'm, I'm ultimately a forgettable movie. So now we will move on to the DVDs that I picked up at Just For Fun. And the first one here is the Alfred Hitchcock collection, and that is The Birds, which is one Alfred Hitchcock movie I do not have yet. I still don't have a lot of his other classics like... Uh, Vertigo or Rope or something like that, or Strangers on a Train. But this one, uh, I do have like Psycho, of course, but this one didn't come with anything, just the disc. My Psycho one did come with like a little booklet in there. But yeah, I still probably have to pick up some of these Alfred Hitchcock releases. And, you know, I had to grab the birds because this is a pretty uncommon movie, especially this Alfred Hitchcock set here or the Alfred Hitchcock collection. So that is the birds right here. And then the last two DVDs I picked up at that place were multi-feature sets. And this one is one that I don't see very often. I was just going to cave in and pick it up at Walmart because they have kind of the same idea. But it's not this cool little set here. And that is the American Graffiti, the drive-in double feature, the franchise collection. And it's got a really cool little packaging here because this, uh, like, it's shaped like a jukebox here. But if you, it's fastened by Velcro. If you pull it open, you got all these records here and then... That's where the disc is held. So it's like a little fold-out thing. It looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, though, just the flipper disc thing kind of bothers me because you got American Graffiti on one side and then you got more American Graffiti on the other. But yeah, two movies I've not seen yet. And it's also crazy to think that George Lucas did these movies, especially for him becoming known for a lot of sci-fi stuff like uh, Star Wars, of course. And if you... I guess if you're really well versed in his work, uh, THX 1138, and then you have something like American Graffiti, which is kind of odd, like I said, because, you know, George Lucas is more known for, like, Star Wars, of course, but he did do something like American Graffiti, which is kind of just like a hangout movie before he did the whole kind of space opera, big budget, you know, huge smash hit success movie. But American Graffiti here, like I said, I have not seen yet, but I do like these kind of kind of hangout-ish movies. And plus the 60s setting could be really cool. So there is American Graffiti, the drive-in double feature with both movies on there. And then the last one I picked up at Just For Fun was the Ultimate Disaster Pack here. So this has Earthquake, Airport, The Hindenburg, and Roller Coaster. I did have Roller Coaster on DVD already, but I decided to just go ahead and get rid of it and just grab this disaster pack instead which has you know all these other the three other movies which i do not yet have so i just wanted to grab them and 
that's a good thing that they're not on flipper discs. They just have one-sided discs here, but there are two discs in here. One of them has, or disc one has Earthquake and Airport on them. And then the next disc has the Hindenburg and Roller Coaster on it. And they were in pretty good shape as well. They were a little scratched, but, you know, nothing that would affect playback or anything. But yeah, the Ultimate Disaster Pack here. I haven't seen any of these movies. They are pretty old as well. Uh, Earthquake is from 1974. Airport is from 1969. The Hindenburg is from 1976. And Roller Coaster is from 1977. But yeah, Ultimate Disaster Pack here, another multi-feature set to add to my collection. And I just wanted those other three movies in addition to Roller Coaster. So that was it from the uh, Just For Fun place, and I will show you guys what I picked up at Goodwill. And I only picked up four things there. Their selection has really gotten downhill, and they just haven't had as much stuff as they had. They, As you notice in the video, they moved all their stuff around, and as such, like it just kind of feels like they gave them the right to just kind of throw everything out. I don't know, like, ever since, like, Saver has changed their layout, and now Goodwill has changed their layout, and now they haven't ver haven't had very much at all. But th these are the four things that I picked up there. So the first one being The Stuntman, which is a movie that I don't see very often because it is Anchor Bay, so it's guaranteed to probably be hard to find or out of print. But it's none of those. It's only worth like around probably five to ten bucks. But it's just one that I wanted for my collection as well. And uh, yeah, you get Peter O'Toole in here. Nobody else that I've heard of. I guess Barbara Hershey maybe. But yeah, the stuntman. It did come with the insert and everything that has the original poster on here. That's the one thing I really liked about Anchor Bay releases is on the backs of the scene selection inserts. They do have the insert like that has the original poster artwork for the movie but yeah the stuntman here i think there it's like a hair on top of that there might be like a two disc version of this one i think there is but if there's not i must be mistaken and this is the only version of this to have come out but yeah the stuntman here i haven't heard too many things about this one so if you guys have seen it leave a comment down below and let me know how it is and then the next two are, I guess, a couple of miscellaneous ones. And this one I just had to grab because it's just so cool. It's not worth anything. I thought it was at first, but it's just so cool. I wanted to grab it. And that is uh, Jeopardy, an inside look at America's favorite quiz show. And this is basically just kind of like, you know, how Jeopardy came to be and how it works in that. There's a few special features on here. We've got 21 years of answers and questions, Jeopardy behind the answers, uh, what does it take to get a clue and watch Jeopardy through five exclusive camera angles? So that's kind of cool. And then you do get five episodes on here. I believe this is the only time that Jeopardy actually ever came to DVD. So you get the first episode hosted by Alex Trebek in 1984, back when he had, you know, the sweet mustache and the hair and everything. And then we have uh, the second one is Ken 75th. So that is Ken Jennings' losing episode. He is the person with the highest earnings in Jeopardy of all time. There was somebody that did it last year that I think came close to him. And then the last three episodes are the ultimate ones. So we have ultimate one, anyone's game, ultimate final or finals, ultimate two, Brad, uh, Brad takes control, and then ultimate three, the final showdown. So you get five episodes of Jeopardy on here. Unfortunately, I wish they did like some more of these Jeopardy releases on home video. They don't usually like to put game shows or reality shows out on DVD anyways. So this is definitely a kind of a special one. But yeah, it's from 2005, so I'm assuming it's just to cash in on Alex Trebek's, well, I guess not really, 21 years. If it was in 2004, it probably would have just been created just to cash in on Alex Trebek's 20th anniversary on the show. But yeah, it was 21 years since he did it when this DVD came out. But yeah, that is Jeopardy! An inside look at America's favorite quiz show. So that is cool. I absolutely love Jeopardy! So I knew I had to grab that. And then the next one here is another IMAX title here, and that is Everest. And this is part of the Miramax Collector Series release. I used to see this one a lot, but not too often now, so I figured I'd have to pick it up now. This is narrated by Liam Neeson and includes the music of George Harrison, so kind of cool there. And this one is complete. It has the insert and the disc in there, of course. And that is what that one looks like, so that is Everest there. And then the last DVD I picked up at Goodwill was the five-star collection of Cleopatra. And I really like these five-star releases because of the shiny cover here. 
and it even continues onto the back and also you get like these kind of one inch thick cases as well except it's silver and uh, yeah super long movie here apparently this was marred by a lot of production troubles because uh, they went vastly over budget I can't really remember how much like 30 million or something like that doesn't seem like that big of a budget now but in 1963 when this was released that was a ginormous budget but uh, yeah, if you take a look at the back here, or if you take a look inside, it actually comes with this little bonus disc here. So technically this is three discs, but it's kind of attached to the little booklet that you would usually see with these releases. I do have another one here, which is Independence Day. I don't have, I don't think I have any more of these, but that's my Independence Day one. And as you can see, it does come with a booklet in there. But yeah, I do have the Independence Day five-star release i believe i was getting close to grabbing the one for sound of music but i never did because i do have like the two disc one that was a little bit newer but you do get an extra bonus disc in here just with a bunch of behind the scenes stuff the booklet attached to that and then you do get uh, two discs in here which is which is like the whole movie because the movie is like four hours long on here so that is cleopatra here mired by production problems but it's lucky that this movie actually ever got released because of all the production problems and stuff going on behind the scenes at Fox and everything. And then, like you saw in the video, I didn't film inside the pawn shop and I didn't get anything inside the pawn shop. But I did go back to my uh, comic shop, which has like the movies in that. And I picked up a Blu-ray there and that is the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD and digital combo pack. Of Pacific Rim in 3D. I did have the just like the regular Pacific Rim release that just had the Blu-ray and the DVD in it but I'm glad to have like the actual like 3D version now. I vastly prefer this cover to the one that was on there. Just look at that you get like the Gypsy Danger Jaeger on the front there and this one is actually <clears throat> this one is brand new factory sealed as well so that's kind of neat but yeah Pacific Rim in 3D here I didn't like it initially when I saw it, but I should probably watch it now that I have it on Blu-ray. Because I think I watched it when it first came out and I didn't really care for it. But now that I have it on 3D Blu-ray, I should probably check it out again. So anyway though guys, that is going to do it for this video. That was huge, including all of those uh, DC releases and all of these other blu-rays and dvds and games and everything in here this was a ginormous pickup video probably one of my longest ones in a while now so anyway though guys that is about it for this shopping thrifting for movies video so thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe comment share instagram and twitter links will be in the description down below if you don't follow me on there also be sure to check out my imdb profile page the link for that will also be down below in the description as, of this video as well to check out what i've been watching recently also if you're new to my channel or if you already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway though guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.